welcome 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 to my channel thank you so much for coming by today today we are going to make another floating cup i don't know how they call it but i am just so intrigued about this so i make another one which is you can give this to a teacher or a child or something that could be all year round so this is what i made as you can see it's floating <laughs> see so it is floating and i'm going to show you how i make this so stay tuned and let's go all right so now i have another request on you know a floating cup again but it's not a cup but it's almost as lighter one so i'm trying to make this one easier for everyone especially if it's light item which is yeah it's very challenging if it's heavy but if it's lighter or somehow what can you do or what can you put in so i'm thinking right now is i have so much crayon of course <laughs> sorry about that noise i have so much crayon and you know my my child when he was a little guy he likes to color and now he don't like and i guess i'm keeping everything what is kind of like a trash or somehow but we are going to recycle this and we are going to use this for something looking great and this would be an awesome uh, gift or a present for a teacher so pencil i have everything down here marker pencil crayon i even have this glue stick somehow we'll see if i can put them in there so it's a challenge for me and as you can see i used this before as my glue gun holder and we are going to use this because it looks so cute and i found this one oh yeah you are going to as you can see it's kind of messy because i used that as my glue gun holder before so that's what i use for my glue gun holder but we are going to use this for something cool and of course you are going to need a duct tape we're not going to use a glue gun somehow we are going to use eventually at the um the pre making this um, holder is we are going to use this but of course you're also going to need a glue gun but this is what we are going to use to attempt and glue this all together to a metal in metal metal or something plastic or somehow we are going to use this because the fabric tag i usually use this for my scrapbooking when i built a scrapbook book scrapbook book or scrapbook pages or somehow but anyway this is really good when you bond something fabric a lace glass leather wood and rims and it dries fast and it dries clear as well and of course it is washable and yes if you can find this i got this you can also buy this on amazon or on walmart but you can't find this at the dollar tree but this is what i found at the dollar tree i don't know i have this leftover so i just pile them up in here <laughs> that's how i am in a wire we need this one and i found this one as well from the dollar tree and as you can see it is goodish so it's almost like matching our plate all right so and burlap i got this one so we'll see how it goes i just pile everything up and you need this paper towel tube if you can find one that would be perfect and skewers some people uses a fork but i figured this one is much easier for me because it's lighter already if you use a fork it's heavy plus heavy already on your floater material just you know like this so if it's floating and if it's heavy on it then it's going to take time to heal or it takes time to dry and yeah so i figured i might just use this one because it's better because there is a if you put that on a flat surface it's just to like that like a leveler but of course we are going to work on something bridges and bridging like how these architectural does so but anyway let's get started and let's get into this all right let's go all right so i forgot to mention you kind of need a pliers because some sort for you to bend it and cut your wire 
and I have this. I don't know how big that gauge is, but that's what I have. And I just want to put them in opposite way, the other end and the other end, so they are more nicer. So it holds on this plate and it holds this end on the cup or somehow this one. Okay, so I start in the middle, tie it up with wire. So now I am going to bend this end like so. I just bend it. Be careful when you bend it just just be very very careful all right and you kind of want to have a bend over here as well so it's like splitting to hold your end just like that so they split and they protect each other just like that okay so that's what i'm aiming i am going to put another wire on this end just to secure that so that it's not wobbling okay, i am trying to make a v-shape in here even if it doesn't look like almost same height but it will level it up okay so and i'm going to make this one flat so it holds on the other side all right so that should be it and i'm going to make this one even to this other side so they are more almost to hold on a cup or the pail just like that like that and to the plate like that okay so that it holds our thing and it's not going to be wobbly because it's much better if they're like v-shape in there and it's like it won't wobble okay and i think that's it and we are going to start gluing this one now okay Yes, I am going to cut this in half. I forgot. This is just to secure the metal-ish in there. You can also cut them in half if you want to. And put also a glue on this end And then you cut a duct tape, okay? So I'm going to start cutting a duct tape. Alright, as you can see, it's already strong and always start at the bottom when you work on your project okay and next is we are going to put a glue in here you don't have to cut them in half but this is what I did on my other project just put a glue in here like generously put a lot a lot of glue and yes you put also a glue in this area glue 
is always a must in this time. I don't use a glue gun to put in this one guys because our weather I am located in a cold place so possibly it will dry out my glue and this one is more safer and faster for me and that's why I want this kind of liquid and I want to work on it instead of being super hurry 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 about making this project right okay and then you slip you put that metal in the middle just like so okay just like sandwich it and when I'm trying to hold on something and I'm working on something I try to use a clip and while this one is a little bit settling down I need to cut a duct tape oh, that one is already together I make sure this handle is going to be on the top like so that's done and look at that voila and I'm still gonna put that in there because I am going to put a crayon on it like it's pouring down you know but I am going to use this burlap down here so then it's more better that something holds it and I'm going to use a glue gun this time okay so it's more stronger
then I can also pick up some stuff down here if I want to. So, all right, so that's it. That was super fast and easy. Yes, come back next time. See you soon. You have an awesome day. Bye.